Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to do a really simple, fast, easy explanation of how to get cells. I was talking to somebody on Facebook last night and she was mentioning that she was having a hard time getting them, so I figured I'd just go over a few things to maybe help out. So I'm pouring over a canvas that has a bunch of cells on them, coincidentally. Um, to me, the key to success is a couple of things. Uh, it is having good pigments, having a good heat source, and knowing how to tilt the right way. Um, to me, it is mandatory that you have an epoxy paste and a very good quality one. Whether it be just a white or a black, which I'm going to show you both right now, um, I feel that, that it is absolutely necessary to have that in order to achieve these great cells that you're seeing everybody make. Um, you can make them without it. This is absolutely true. You can make cells by just tilting and, and you know, heating and tilting a certain way. But to me, having a good paste helps me a lot. Lorez, their pastes, today I'm using the Midnight Black. Not that you can see the label, it's so dirty. And the Angel White. Lorez paste and pigment to me are excellent quality. The best I've ever used. And I've used quite a few. So, to me, just having these simple two colors helps tremendously. Um, the, the pastes are mixed with some sort of a, a binder and it must have some type of oil or something in it that helps with the cells because I've gotten some insane outcomes. And then as I also mentioned, having a good, having a good um, heat gun can help tilting the right way. It's, it's several different things. So this is going to be an extremely simple painting. It's just to show you how to get those cells. That's it. I don't even know if I will keep, I'll probably pour over it because I, I'm not using many colors or anything. It's just to show you that one thing. Okay. So I'm just going to torch this really quick. And then I will put on my other colors. So I'm using indigo, which is a very pretty purplish blue color from Lorez. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour that straight up the center. This is not a paste. This is a powder. So I'm going to pour that straight up the center. Let you see the beauty of that color. And then I'm going to take the black, which is a paste, and go around the sides of it. Okay. 
And now that's it. I'm going to torch it and then I'm going to use my heat gun. So very simple design. So the key is to push this black up over the white. That is the key. That's where the cells are going to come in. Getting it hot. Letting it warm up a bit. The corner showing here. Okay, so here we go. You see those cells popping up? Now you can also break this up a bit. Add a little white. The one corner there is sticking something on there. And then you just let it sit. You let it sit. You torch it. You let it sit. Do its thing. And all these little cells are popping up all over the place. Now granted, these are not going to be big cells because this is a small canvas. But if I had room to blow this way out, they would be all over the place. I will show you what it looks like when you do have room like a bigger canvas. First, let's start with this. So you can see glare is horrible. There we go. You can see they're just everywhere. And what is making them? The white and the black. Luckily, Lorez has several different color pastes and they all have this effect. It is just truly magical. So we'll concentrate on this area here. It's not the purple that has the, the um, making the cells. It's the black lacing around it. And this will continue to keep selling and selling and selling. So let me show you one other one. So here is this one. See, I have room. This is a very, very, very big piece. So I had room to blow it way out over the white. And that's where you get that crazy, like, webbing look. All 
All right, so small canvas, small, small cells, big canvas, bigger cells. And that is my short video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, the description box below will have everything linked for Lorez pigments and the heat gun I used, everything you need, okay? Have a great day. Happy pouring.